This is a Hot Pie Original. You know, this is a, it's a weird way to start the show. Um, and I, I do not want to lecture, and I'm not going to lecture anybody about weight loss. I'm kind of a nuts and twigs guy myself, but we all know it's hard to lose weight. The solution, of course, we also know. We don't want to acknowledge it, but the solution is always pretty simple. But pulling it off is very hard, very difficult. Uh, No preaching here about that. I do think we would agree, though, the pharmaceutical holy grail, not to diminish cancer and Alzheimer's and all the serious stuff, but I think we would acknowledge that the pharmaceutical holy grail the big money, the big profits. I don't know which would be more profitable, baldness cure, simple baldness cure, or weight loss. Either one. I don't know which one would make more money, but they are both sort of the pharmaceutical holy grail. It may be the easiest get rich plan. So here we go. Um, (laughs) I guess this is a shout out to dentists. Uh, you may need to hurry up. You may have already missed your chance to get rich. There's a, there's a marketing term, just to put this in perspective. It's called a it's simple line extension, business term. So your business, uh, I'll, I'll use an example here. Gatorade is a, is a hydration product, right? To extend the brand and the usefulness of the brand, Gatorade would market itself as the best thing to drink during cold and flu season. When you have the flu, you're dehydrated. So that's a line extension that's using, it's not just you're out working in the yard or working out and you need to be hydrated. When you're sick, you need to be hydrated. That would be a simple explanation of line extension. So in a weird way, dentists, you need to extend the brand. The Nobel Prize, we thought that it would go to Donald Trump. We thought that it would go to Oprah Winfrey like it does every year. But the Nobel Prize is going to the creators of (laughs) <laughs> dental slim. I, <laughs> I laughed and couldn't stop laughing out loud when I'm reading this, sitting there over a glass of wine and I'm stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And I, I can't say that it's a terrible idea. I certainly can't argue the effectiveness of the dental slim diet control plan. I guess it's a little bit better than the days of Richard Simmons. And remember that, the deal, Emil? I mean, we've all, we've all tried everything, right? People have tried everything you can think of. We've been sold everything you can think of. Every day there's a new diet scam of some sort. I have to say, in, this, in a simple world of dieting and making money, I got to say, it's hard to argue with the effectiveness of the dental slim. I'm pretty certain even the medical community would acknowledge if you can't open your mouth to eat, you're probably not going to get fat. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. There. They're right. I'm reading. I'm thinking, oh, man, wait a second. They're on to something here. This is incredible science, and this is why they're going to take home the Nobel Prize. Now, I would assume every right now, Every dentist you can think of is scrambling and scrambling and scrambling, saying, wait a minute here. You know how they love the old cash procedures? Get that all. While I'm filling your cavities, can we talk to you about uh, some veneers? So they're always chasing all cash like every doctor. Here it is. Here it is. Let this sink in. If you can't open your mouth, you can't get fatter. Not only that, if you can't open your mouth, (laughs) you're probably going to lose weight. Can we argue that? Can we argue the science of that? I bet not. I didn't in college, got a few degrees, but I didn't venture to the dietetics department very often. But I have to admit, somebody in the dietetics department at fill-in-the-blanks university is probably saying, you know, they're onto something here. If you can't open your mouth, you're not going to put on weight. Well, as you suck down a bunch of smoothies, I guess. So here it is, America. It's uh, the holy grail of dieting. If you've ever broken your jaw, you're going to hear this and go, hey, wait a minute. I did that. Yeah, you did. (sighs) 
I'd love to hear the meeting. I'd love to see the documentary. I want to watch the documentary on how it is these Nobel Prize winners ended up with the Dental Slim. Dental Slim diet control. I can make the commercial right now. I could, we could make it so deal a meal like. It's so corny, it's good, or we can really sex it up and make it flashy. I don't know which one to do. But I would love to see one of those infomercials like at 2 a.m. of the Dental Slim and a bunch of people sitting there and they can't open their mouths. So they're like holding up little signs. I've lost 25 pounds because I haven't opened my mouth in six weeks. How about that? Huh? Yes, when you think, man, science is stuck, you know, all this whole COVID thing, blah, blah, blah. This should give you faith in science again. If you question science, you're not going to question science after you hear this. John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce, now in all 50 states and in several retail outlets as well. So what we're doing today is we're walking through several of the hot sauces, and then we turn it over to this social media chef rock star, and he walks us through the sauces and then why you should buy. Don't forget ATXHotSauce.com. All right, here we go. We're on our third, third. hot sauce now. Yeah. And remember, heat builds with hot sauce. What so do you mean? It, it builds. So we could do a very mild, mild, and then a hot one and go all the way back to like almost no spice. But it'll taste spicy because the heat just builds and builds in your mouth. It kind of layers of capsaicin. Oh, there's builds. science, an actual science. Bond. Sure, there's science. Yeah. Bill Nye, I'm sure, all right. is, is all over this. Okay. Uh, the next one is the juice. Mm. This is our original. It's made with habaneros, coconut, turmeric, and pineapple. One of the uh, best sellers that we have. It's called The Juice. I highly recommend try, trying this one out. If you get a box set, make sure it includes this. Yeah, I've had that. That's Yeah, this yeah, one's really good. good. All right, so this one is, oh, that's a lot, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to wipe, try, you wanna wipe that let's off. Let's try not to have bit. the host cry if we can. All right, let's see. Name again for this? The Juice. All right, The Juice. Going to be a little sweeter than the other ones. Nice. Mm -hmm. I've had that. Well done. All right. Are the you juice. crying yet? No, no, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. I wouldn't show. It's not going to show. <laughs> as soon as that camera's turned off, I'll ball like a baby. Well, but when we not start beating then. up, I'll know. All right. ATXHotSauce.com. I read to you from, I don't know what publication this is. You've got to be kidding me. You need a picture of it? I'll show you a picture of it. You got to look very, very closely. Like there's some metal in your mouth. Look at that. Magnets. Essentially going to shut your mouth. A weight loss tool that uses magnets to stop people from opening their mouths wide enough to eat solid food. Again, let it sink in. Let me get this straight, Jeff. So if I can't open my mouth to eat, I'm probably not going to eat as much and I'm probably going to lose weight. Damn. Damn. I'm not saying I'm informing you. I'm just passing this information along. Dental Slim. Diet control. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of people <laughs> grunting. Your diet, your dentist better get with it, man. He better, they better get all this wiring together. Uh, a weight loss tool that uses magnets to stop people <laughs> from opening. You get the idea, right? I don't have to show you the picture. Top magnet, bottom magnet, mouth shut closed, no food. There's a lot of people that I think we wish they would just shut their mouth. We a lot of people we'd like to put the magnets in. But this is the Dental Slim diet control. So you can't open your mouth wide enough to eat solid food has been developed by scientists in order to tackle obesity. I don't think there's any argument. We've got obesity problem. It's not going away. It's getting worse. The device developed by medical professionals from the University of Otago, O-T-A-G-O. -O. Boy, you're good. You are good. A lot of money coming your way. A lot of grants. These are, this is in New Zealand. They don't have a fat problem in New Zealand, do they? Try this in San Antonio. Every dentist in San Antonio. Like, sit down. We got a wire. We got a... We got to put magnets in your mouth so you can't eat again. Huh. Wow. So they have tweeted that it was the, quote, world's first weight loss device to help. I mean, this is pretty, this is global, man. I mean, this is, they're saving the planet. 
They probably waited until the COVID vax was out and we decided all that and got through all that or not sort of through all that and said, let's just buy, let's buy some time. Because when we hit, when we hit the global stage, when we shut their mouths, we are going to be famous and we are going to be rich. And we have solved the world's obesity problem by not letting people eat. So they tweeted out that it was a world first weight loss device to help fight the global obesity epidemic, an intra-oral device that restricts a person to a liquid diet. In other words, just like when you broke your jaw or had some dental surgery and you can't open your mouth, you can't eat. There, problem solved. It's called the Dental, sl <laughs> dental Slim Diet Control. I'm not going to do it. In fact, I'm going to encourage you to try it at home. Do it. Give it a shot. <laughs> You know, it's like people all over the place now saying, you know, people have probably already tried to do this. Your neighbor, hey, look, could you just like get, I got these magnets at the hardware store. Could you just put these in my molars so I can't open my mouth again? The Dental Slim device diet control, the device allows its users to open their mouths only two millimeters. Wow. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Stop snoring, too. Now, you may die at 2 a.m., but you're not opening that freaking mouth. You may stick to some uh, machine. Your face looks like you just sucked into a machine. You'll be stuck to your refrigerator. Your face will every day be pressed up against the refrigerator door because you're, you're, you're magnetic. So, kids, can you peel me? Oh, you can't talk. Damn. You're going to grunt. Get my face off of the refrigerator. The device allows its users to open their mouths only two millimeters wide. Initially, it was trialed on seven healthy, obese women. It worked. Seven people. The study is seven people who, guess what? They couldn't eat, so they're not fat. An article published in the British Dental Journal reported that the group of women lost a mean amount of 12 pounds. No. I'm sorry, 18 pounds each, which was 5.1% of their body weight. There's no disputing the science here. You cannot open your mouth. They could not open their mouth. They could not eat, and they lost almost 20 pounds. Problem solved. Nobel Prize. Participants complained, though, that the device was hard to use, causing discomfort with their speech. Hmm. You don't say. They said they felt tense and that, quote, Life in general was less satisfying. Screw that. You're going to lose weight. You're not going to open your face. One participant did not follow the rules and instead consumed foods they were not supposed to. How'd she do that? Such as chocolate. You're wondering, wait, she went into a trial study and she cheated? Yeah, she melted the chocolate. <laughs> this is like, this needs to be a movie. Uh, Professor Paul Brunton, you're great, Paul, said the main barrier that stopped weight loss was, quote, compliance. Look at this guy. In other words, if you don't open your mouth, you will not get fatter. He said that the tool helped to establish new habits and could kickstart the process. He said it's a non-invasive, this is the doctor talking, non-invasive, reversible, economical, and attractive very attractive. Let me show you the picture of these magnets in your face, on your lips. That's very attractive. Imagine that on your next Bumble date. You can't talk to her or him, and you see some metal in their face. <laughs> At least they can have some wine, though. He said it's um, reversible, economical, and attractive alternative to a surgical procedure. So there you go. Problem solved. Congratulations, everyone. Your 2021 Nobel Prize, your Dental Slim Diet Control.